Hello, my name is Steve and I'm with Graphic and Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this yin yang symbol using Affinity Designer. For this tutorial, I'm actually using Affinity Designer 1.8.3. Sorry, <laughs> my mistake, 1.8.1. Sorry, before we continue, we have some uh, new features that are now uh, new, that are new in Affinity Designer. We are going to explore one of the new features uh, that I think is quite powerful, especially for designer. So without any further ado, let's get started. So like always I do, we need to create a new document. For that, let's go, let's go to File, New. And now you will see that this is the new document layout. So basically uh, it's very similar to what you have, I think it's in Adobe um, Illustrator. Uh, you have different presets, you can use any one. Uh, for me, I'm going to my presets and basically I got all the, the ones that I used to have in the version, in the previous version. And I'm like always, I'm going to choose my 1920 by 1080 pixels with background. Uh, but you can use any one, uh, any kind of size. If you want to create something, just type in uh, or change the, um, the layout, the color and all that. And then you click in that plus and add set as a new preset. And then you can actually, if you go to the preset, you right click and you can rename or delete the preset. Uh, so for me, like always, I'm using my own. I leave all the rest as it is. I click create and now we have our new document. So before we continue, like always again, you go to view and make sure that you have selected show guides, show rulers, show context toolbar and show toolbar. For this tutorial, before we continue, I want to do something else that um, sometimes we, uh, I don't do very often, but I find out that for this kind of um, drawings is nice to have it already done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, basically um, the middle, I'm going to mark the middle of the page using my guidelines. For, uh, for that you go to the top, you click and drag and when you snap into the middle uh, you'll see that it turns red. If that doesn't happen just remember to go to the top here at the toolbar and remember to switch on or uh, yeah switch on the snapping for the one that is vertical come here to the ruler click and drag exactly the same and we put it right in the middle when it gets locked is green now to avoid that uh, you can select any of these ones and move them and then everything is going to get skew um, let's lock them for that you go to view and select lock guides so now you can't select them, but they still work as a guide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my ellipse tool and I'm going to hit command shift, click and drag to have a perfect proportional circle. And I'm going to choose 600. Yeah, no, almost, almost I did it, almost 600. Anyway, what I'm going to do, I need 600. So I'm here, come here to my transformation um, tab. First, make sure that you, this icon is set for link in between the width and the height. And I'm going to click and I'm going to type 600 and then I'm going to move this one to the center. Good. Now we need two extra circles. So I'm going to hit command J and I'm going to give that circle, let's divide it by two. So we have 300. Uh, pixels. I'm going to change the color so I can see what I'm doing and I'm going to drag it there to the top half in the middle but the top half of the main circle. Now hit uh, Alt, click and drag. You can release Alt now and drag it to the bottom part. Make sure that it's perfectly aligned. Good. Now that we have that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the big one and the one that is at the top. Uh, at the top half, sorry, and come here to your geometry and hit subtract. So basically now we eliminate that circle there. Now the big one, 
on the big circle I need to divide it in two for that I'm going to create a rectangle it doesn't matter the color nothing just click outside to make it big enough to cover the circle and make sure that it snaps into the uh, at, at the middle then I'm choosing my selection tool shift click to select the one that is at the bottom come here to the um, geometry uh, bar at the top and let's hit divide so now I'm going to select the square and I'm going to delete it and I'm going to select the right half and I'm going to delete it as well good now with these what I have to do is I need to create with these two one new shape but there is a little trick un under the sleeve of affinity designer something new I think it's yeah I think it's new that appear now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both now usually what you do is you go to your geometry and click add but when you do that basically both becomes one and there is no way to separate it unless you do the undo okay but we are going to do something extra let's hit alt or option in the in the mac and let hit or oh, click on the add and now we have this uh, new shape that is actually a compound so basically if you open you still can select either of the shapes and you still can move them so what happened is basically if something goes wrong or not not wrong actually if you don't like something and you need want to modify it later on when everything is is done it's easy for you to do it without the need of going back all the way to the time when you decided okay I need to move it two pixels like it happened in one of my videos when I was using 1.7.3 so the whole idea is uh, that is not basically it's not destructive okay now another thing that you have that is really nice as you can see here if you select the one at the top remember the one that is at the top affect the one that is at the bottom now you see there is a button there or, a, or an icon if you click in there basically you have all the other functions and if you hover over them you can see actually what is going on or how it's going to look like okay for our let me sorry let me go back again uh, for this one we are going to leave it as it is okay so now when I select sorry when I select my compound basically is acts or reacts like a one shape but it's actually com uh, com uh, comprised of two different shapes that you still can modify so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it some stroke here just only so I got a, a line around and I'm going to change now the color for this one is going to be white perfect now we have one half of the of the symbol so i'm going to hit command and j to duplicate ne next go to the go to the top bar and hit uh, flip horizontal and flip vertical and i'm going to move it basically uh, until it's overlapping in there so perfect now we have both shapes and i'm going to take the one at the top and i'm going to change it for black so basically this is almost ready what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the two circles right in the middle okay of the the centers and the middle so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use the guides to help me to do that and I'm going to click drag into the opa make sure that it snaps uh, in there and another one there and another one to the other side perfect now I'm going to lock them so I can not move them I'm going to choose my pen tool and I'm going to click in one create a one diagonal hit escape and now I'm going to do the same for the southern hemisphere so now I'm going to create just um, a circle and this one is 72 let's give it yeah I think a 75 to make it round something like that is fine and I'm going to click and drag and you can see now snap in the middle now hit um, option or alt on a PC click and drag you can release and there you go and I'm going to give it white 
and remember to give the stroke white as well and I'm going to select that one day and delete that one day and delete perfect everything is according to plan let me get rid first of the guides so I'm going to uh, unlock them to get rid of them basically just click and drag them out of the canvas and there you go they just disappear perfect now the thing is I got this shape or yeah I got this uh, compound and I'm, I'm happy with everything uh, how it is at the moment so what I'm going to do what I need to do now is I want to make them one unified if you go and press uh, add nothing is going to happen to actually make them one what you need to do is you need to come here to your contextual toolbar and click on convert to curves and now it becomes just one curve if I do the same day and there we go so basically now there are all curves I'm going to click and drag and I'm going to group them and I'm going to move them there maybe make them a little bit uh, smaller somewhere there and the only thing that remains like I always do is I'm going to put in in young and I'm going to select them and then I'm going to use uh, let me see Bebas new I think it's perfect so I'm putting in there I'm going to click and drag and select everything let's group it let's put it right in the middle of the page there we go and what I'm going to do like I always do I'm going to click and drag to make a background Let's get rid of that and this one let's give uh, what color uh, something reddish will be nice something brownish uh, let me see if I move it down nah I don't like that color so let's use something a little bit more reddish something like that and then color we can make it a little bit less intense okay so i hope you like uh, the video if you did please remember to subscribe to give the thumbs up to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos if you have any questions any suggestions uh, you're struggling with something uh, please let me know in the section down below and yeah any comment as well leave them in the section down below yeah thank you very much for watching and like always i'm seeing you in the next video let's hope that this one goes perfect because the